Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a little nail polish um, collection slash review slash chit chat. Um, these are all of the nail polishes that I own and they were all like thrown around in like a box <laughs> before I got this really really nice acrylic stand. <sighs> I got this a long time ago. They have them on Etsy handmade ones, but I think I got this one at Amazon. That's just a random Inucom thing that you see down there. No, it doesn't work. Um, they're just some put in the house. I, I don't know. But, um, yeah, so this is the nail polish collection. This first row here is definitely just like my pinks. Um, and I was trying to keep the camera as steady as possible so I don't make you guys sick. I just kind of want to talk about like some of my favorites, some of the regrets, things like this. One of my absolute favorites is Pool Party, you guessed it, China Glaze. I love the China Glaze um, formula and I'm going to say I probably like it better than OPI. This color is just my favorite. I always get so many compliments. It's a perfect summer color. As soon as spring hits, I'm, I'm pool partying it out. Revlon ones, um, I like, I have no complaints, uh, they're okay, you know, um, Butter London, kind of have a gripe with you, this isn't like my favorite nail polish, this is Trout Pout, um, they have great colors, but the color payoff isn't that wonderful, this is a salmon color, they're really expensive, and I would not waste your money, I feel like there's going to be better polishes I'll talk about here, um, where you don't have to get this. Uh, it's great that they're, you know, um, no formaldehyde and, uh, you know, no carcinogens. That's that's wonderful, but um, I can't afford, like, $14 every time I get a nail polish, especially if I just wasn't loving it. Um, it was okay. This new, um, this is Shrimply Divine. It's the Sally Hansen Salon Manicure. Um, I was actually really, really, really impressed with this um, formula. And um, the brush, it's kind of a flatter brush and the color payoff and things like that. So um, I really do like these and I would definitely recommend this. Uh, let's see, this one is from the Minnie Mouse collection. It's the OPI and it is in Nothing Mouse About It. And, sorry, I don't know if it's going to focus. Well, Nothing Mouse About It, take me over for it. It's got these hearts in it. It's kind of like chocked full of glitter and... When I tried to put the hearts on my nails, like it would be cute for like Valentine's Day, I just felt like you had to really like glob it out to get the hearts and to put them on your nails. And I don't know, it didn't really stay on. I got more glitter. When I take the brush out, it's just full of glitter, like there's no hearts on it. It's Essie Raise Awareness. It was for breast cancer. And I have breast cancer survivors in my family, so hooray for that. Really opaque, really pretty. I have it on my toes. Um, two coats of this, and it's like your true, true pink. Okay, um, this next row is like my darks, light blues, topies, metallics. I don't know if this row makes any sense to anyone but me. Um, this is the one color that uh, Kim Kardashian just loves. It's My Private Jet by OPI. Um, I like this. I think I'm more of an opaque black when it comes to nail polish person. Um, got a lot of glitter in it. It is pretty. It is a favorite. Um, brand that I was kind of presently surprised by was the Ulta brand. This is a navy. It's called the Skinny. I love the Ulta brand nail polishes. These are actually great. I bought four. It was like buy one get one free like a couple summers ago. And this navy color is just gorgeous. True navy. It looks wonderful on your toes in the summer. Um, this one a friend of the family from Europe got me. It's like their brand over there. Um, it reminds me a lot um, comparable to Chanel nail polishes. Um, it's got a lot more navy undertones in it. So, um, Barrelli, I haven't tried this one yet. Um, I don't know about this brand. I've never heard of it. Um, this one is like the coldest day of the year. <laughs> Go figure. And that's like today here. It's like five degrees. Um, it's a slate color, icy blue. I'll let you guys know how that wears. Um, again, this is one of those Sally Hansen colors I talked about down here, the Sally Manicure. This is my favorite blue. It's Pacific blue. These are amazing. The Sally Hansen Extreme where you can get these at the drugstore. Um, you can get these at Target. This is a true bright, bright blue. I was like obsessed with this color. I wore it like every other week last summer. Um, but beautiful color. And this Sally Hansen Extreme Wear is a great formula, great polish. 
Okay, my absolute favorite taupe would have to be this color. This is one of my absolute, actually, favorite colors um, out of all the collection, and it's so ho pretty. And it is this taupey color, um, beautiful on your toenails, beautiful on your nails. Um, usually I have a gel manicure on, but um, this is just an awesome color. Really impressed with Ulta polishes. Now this is again one of those Sally Hansen Salon um, manicure colors. Look at how close they are um, in color. They're like really similar colors. Me so happy with this color, OPI. It's just a great neutral. Yeah, it's okay. This was from the Essie Metallic Collection. This is Penny Talk. Hello. Um, love this metallic. Really, really pretty. Um, looks like kind of melted gold on your nails. It's really cool. Mm, love this one. I heard Michelle 1218 talk about this one, and I had to pick it up. This one is Gold Coin. Uh, really, really pretty. It's got a lot more shimmer. It's a metallic. It's Revlon. One of my all-time favorite glitters. This one is called Beyond Cozy. I got this one as a gift. Check out my... Um, I don't know if you guys are going to see that because it's really bright, but it's called Beyond Cozy. Check out my leopard and sparkle nail tutorial that I put up not too long ago. I always forget to link the videos in the bottom bar, but I don't have like a ton of videos up yet, so you guys can easily go back and check that out. This color is amazing. One, two coats, and your nail is, there's no like gaps in the um, diamonds on your fingers. I have it right here. And it's Nicole, and it is Make You Smile. And yeah, it's definitely like little sparkly diamonds. I like that big glitter too. That's really unique. So I like that. Next, sorry guys, it's my Reds collection. Um, this is like a favorite red. It's just it's a true red, and it is. Um, it's got a little more orangey tones to it. It's OPI and Collins Ave. This was from the South Beach collection. It was like, I was obsessed with it, putting it on my toes. Long Stem Roses by Essie. It's a great red. Um, this one is a darker red. It's just the perfect red red from OPI. It's Comet Loves Cupid. Um, definitely one of my favorite reds. So I would definitely recommend this if you're looking for a good red. This is the red shatter polish. You know, you paint it over another color and it looks like it shattered, kind of like the lid. Um, one of my favorite, favorite glitters. Look at this. This one's in Rockstar Pink. I picked this up at Target. These are like two bucks. Look at that pretty glitter. It's great for an accent nail. Just really pretty. <sighs> Wet and Wild. Really surprised by this color. I put it on my toes. It's got the Pro Brush Manicure. The brush pretty much looks like this. It's really weird. It's like a flat, just thinner type of brush. Um, and this is like a really, really pretty color. It's under your spell. Um, it's like a dark, dark, reddish, mauve black undertone type of color. Gorgeous, great formula. I love the Wet n' Wild nail polishes. My newest polish right here, this is OPI. Mariah Carey is the spokesperson for this line. It is the Liquid Sand. Um, you put two, put a base coat on, two coats of this. And, um, it's called Stay the Night. And basically, it looks like sand on your nails. It's really cool. You don't paint a top coat over it because it dries matte. But love it. It's a lot of fun. Um, this is a great color, too. What is this? Lincoln Park After Dark. That's a favorite for people. Real dark, almost black, but a lot of more purpley undertones in it. So it's not a true matte black. Okay, going up here. Another favorite. Another cult favorite. Um, Flip Flop Fantasy. One of my favorites, China Glaze, real beautiful, beautiful orange. What looks in the bottle is not how it looks in your toes. It looks 100 times better on your toes. So if I'd have to recommend, this is one of my ultimate favorites in my collection. This one, too, I'm loving the Orly polishes. I only have a few, but really liking it. This one's Melt Your Popsicle. Great names, bright orange, perfect for your toes. Um, this is a great color, too. Orange, great for the fall, even for the summer. Osaka to me orange? I don't know. This is one of those Revlons. wasn't too impressed. These are supposed to be the fluorescent glow-in-the-dark neons. You paint the white on first, then you paint the orange over it. And it was okay. It was kind of messy. The formula wasn't great. Um, up here, we have my purples and then my greens. 
love this color. This is a beautiful color. It's the pat on the black. It's almost like a blacky purple, but it's really pretty. Crackle coat in the purple. Favorite um, lavender purple boxer shorts by Essie. Look at that purple, really pretty. And then I bought this to go over it. Um, this is Stroke of Brilliance. I'm sure you guys have seen this color before. Beautiful glitter. Essie makes the best glitter in my opinion. Uh, I saw Michelle one too when he talked about this one too. This is Whimsical. Um, if you put a white on and then put this on over, it's cute. Cute on your toes. Cute as an accent now. Um, very sheer though. It's got some big chunky pieces of glitter, but it's just really pretty. Love this mint sorbet. Hard as nails. They have the best um, bright opaque colors and it's just beautiful on your nails. True mint color. You want a Tiffany's blue color? Get this. Color culture in... Age of Aquarius. I've gotten so many compliments on this polish. It is true, true Tiffany's color. It is exactly the color in the box. I don't have a lot of these color clubs, but they are amazing. I would definitely repurchase some more. You can find these in the mall, like in a beauty um, salon store or anything, and they're, they're pretty decently priced. An Alter one that's kind of a similar color. This is um, a great glitter. It goes great over any of these greens as an accent nail, mermaid tail. Beautiful. Look at that orally glitter. Loving the orally polish. And then this one is the Revlon Emerald. Beautiful, beautiful green. Then I have two yellows. I only have one from this Picky Polish collection. It's a bright, bright yellow. You had me at yellow. And it's great to switch on and off with this color, like for your toes, this orally Melcher Popsicle. One toe um, orange, one toe yellow. It's great. And then this one, Lemonade Stand by Your Man. A lot more sheer of a yellow, but it's pretty. These are just all my top coats. I have the Sally Hansen um, French Manicure up here. And then I have some Sinful Base Coat, Top Coat, Nutri Nail, Hard as Nail, Sally Hansen Continuous Gro Growth, OPI Base Coat. Yeah, so that is my collection. So, um, I will see you in my next video. Take care, stay warm, bye guys.